okay, so yeah, I'm gonna like this guy silently like appears like pro uh, the the your evil side tries to do something to protect himself, but the demigods is just so quick. It's just like oncoming sword of justice that just tries to that glows with awesome like divine smitey power. And yeah, he's attacking you with l the Lightbringer, his greatsword, <laughs> plus five. <laughs> Who has shit ton of upgrades and whatnot. And of course, he's smiting evil. As a swift it would be kind of hilarious if when you turn into a god, you beat the shit out of him. <laughs> and I. F At 76 is his natural bonus highest on the thingy. I think that hits. Yeah, and the 14, 14, no, it should be 12, sorry. So that's 94 instead of 96. And the damage he I done. still think that hits. Yeah. And you know what? That might be a spoiler, but... Normally, there's like plus 40 to damage rolls against evil, but if it's an outsider with the evil subtype or something, it's plus 80. And guess what? He will strike with plus 80. So, okay, so let's. I expected that. Okay, 30. Ignore hardness less than 12, good align. Another 2d6 because against evil targets. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Hmm, would that spirit be considered chaotic? Sure it is. Hmm. So it goes like this standard damage from gate sword. And plus 30 is like his bonus from strength and whatnot, plus 80 is from smite evil, uh, plus 2d6 is from like uh, against evil creatures, 2d6, another is against haughty creatures, 1d6 is a fire damage. Guess what? What? You're dead. Uh, yep. Is it double con or is it equal to con? Uh, I, I, always, I think I always played that it's equal to your condition score. Mm. I'd say double, but I'm not sure. I don't die very often. <laughs> Basically, like, as the like, sword goes through you, that your like, evil spirit, you don't feel pain yourself, but you just see that, like, the evils, like, in your mind, the your like partner just gets there's like a, a crack on his oh, body oh. and light and there he just like gets like like you know the cut in half and from both halves there's like a light spreading out just what and he's oh, like oh. fuck <laughs> do I have control again right before I die as your body is falling down to the ground, the visage just dissipates and like I, the... I have the ability that lets me avoid death. Okay. I use true resolve as I regain control of my body and like falling and dying. And... Regardless of the source of the attack that killed him, he is left alive at negative one hit points, or lower if he was already below one, which I'm not. So, I am just at negative one. Okay. And basically, the next thing happens. I need to check. I guess he has some sort of. Uh, uh, to the um, freaking spells or da, 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 da. not this final revelation now 
if you can do something to actually take out the dragon right now. I presume that Norman here would have showed up too late to save the army. Mm. Give me a moment, give me a moment, give me a moment. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna do it this way, that... that, 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 that. That rule of cool. You see, that as he's standing above, like Endiv, he doesn't like keeps his sword like near him and like just standing ground. Then he just cracks his neck, looks at the Umbral Dragon, just takes the Sinner's Reach, his divine spear, waves it in his hand, and then just like fucking throws it straight at. Uh, uh, Umbral Dragon. And let's see, I guess he will hit. And of course he's smiting. <laughs> Close but not enough. Man, my rolls suck. Balls. <laughs> Imagine him missing it, just flying everywhere. That's also a smite because plus 80 because this is evil dragon. Uh, two, 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 two. Two d6, one d6, two d8. No. Oh, hey, I could have removed the exhausted condition. Oh, well. You were exhausted? What? No, um, back, back last time. When we were fighting West the Man, I could have True. removed my exhausted condition. I and about that. enough time has passed. Yeah. I, I, I was just commenting. Yeah, basically... What happens is that... Uh, with the combined effort of allies and PCs... Uh, they kill some more of the army of ashes and they just like retreat like less than from the five ta from the half million army probably less than like around 50 60 thousand have survived and yeah and from the from these guys well around 4000 4600 warriors su survived <clears throat> but yeah, just the dragon gets freaking Corpstone because he would probably try to get the demigod, not knowing where, where to concede, and he will just be wrecked with full attack from the guy. And some of these dragons also die, but the remnants just retreat to the dome of snow and disengage. And yeah, basically the immediate aftermath is that like people are breathing, like kneeling, like praying to their gods, they are thankful that they survived. But as the seconds pass, like more and more angry eyes look towards the fallen prone body of uh, Endiv and the body that is still not really protected but guarded by Sir Marward Down, who is like standing above him with like the greatsword, like, hanging like blade down towards his I'm body. I'm automatically stabilized, so I'd probably wake up rather quickly. Yeah, and... Yeah, the first thing he would... Don't you move. Uh, if... Does Genkero see all this? Yep, you saw, like, you saw the entire transformation, and, like, the destruction, <clears throat> now you see the... Like, obviously good guy, because the Smarra down, like, detect good is just... Even, even without detect good, it shows that he's just lawful good. He's a fucking, uh, like, yeah. he has, like, angel wings stringing off him. He's, like, half celestial, celestial, and whatnot. Alright, then... Uh, Genker is going to fly towards uh, Andy top speed before... And, uh... 
understand I that. Because really it seems like that would be extremely painful. Yeah, and soon as you arrive, also, so apart from Varion, surprise, surprise, guess who teleports in? Asmar. That like, <coughs> like, uh, like, not tears off. That he just uh, like shakes the sweat from his. Like it's pretty. Like he's kind of tired, but not really exhausted. It seems like he was taking part in something that required his strength. Right. Well, 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 Varion, did one of your puppies decided to finally snap? This is as Mario saying to Varion. And Marwar just looks at Marius with like... It's impossible to see squint of his eyes because he's like fully armored in celestial armor and... Uh, he's like golden mask who covers his face and it's hard to see his... Do not just with me wizard i am grateful that you managed to summon me here to stop this evil from overwhelming all of you but the fact remains this one i felt true evil from him and he points to the fallen prone form of Andy. i wave my hand I i'm me again you don't have to worry it's fine. And he, mm. like, just, like, nobody says anything, he just looks at you. Explain. Now. Um, I'm possessed by this really evil thing, which I know you want it like, and a lot of people want it like, and it's kind of part of me now. Thanks for stopping me from killing everybody, though. Or stopping him from killing everything. I think, like, there, there's me, and there's another thing that originated from being the spirit of chaos. Which came from some titans forged behind a giant skull door. Be silent. I swear to Iomidi, if I wasn't so lawful good, I would have not hesitated to end your life here and now. And he like casts a spell, <laughs> like detect Wait, evil. What? What did he mean? I, uh, he does the deity. He said. Right. Uh, just is uh, alignment in character a thing? Can they talk about it? Ah, uh, wait. I think he said that if I wasn't faithful servant of Aomidi, I would I would just like kill you right there and there. He he doesn't say if I wasn't so lawful. <laughs> That's more like it. If only I hadn't put lawful good on my character sheet, I would have killed you already. <laughs> hey, what's a character sheet? <laughs> it's one of these that I pull one out. And he like <laughs> pull him out of your he probably ass. cast a detect evil and he just like hand above holding like hovering hand above you. Hmm, the taint is still there, but alas, it's not even... Well, yeah, like I said, I'm here, not him. Who says it won't happen again? Who Absolutely no one. It probably will, given that I'm kind of immortal now. Immortal, you say? Well, that can be rectified. Uh, at this point... Uh, how close is he to end it? Because if I can, uh, I'm going to place myself between end it and... Not really possible, because end is slaying prone and he's standing above him, like the sword hanging downwards, right. the blade downwards, pointing towards his, like, stomach. He's like, you know, like, guarding above him. And if end will do any, like, movement, he will maybe try to intervene. Varian as Marius, is he one of yours? And they just like Varian nods. Did you know of this? And as Marius doesn't really respond at all, there's like blank look on his face with maybe small smack smile, and Varian is like uh, No, Sir Marward, it's as much as big surprise for me as for you.
<laughs> Seeing that you summoned yep. me, he looks at Asmars and Varian. What do you want me to do with him? And I look at the uh, Asmarius, hoping, uh, not Asmarius, Varius. Varian. Varian. Always get those two mixed well. well, Great Marward isn't there anything that you can try to, like, make sure it will be harder for this taint to take control next time? And he's like deeply thinking. If I may suggest, I'd like anything that keeps me alive. You are currently not in position to make suggestions. <laughs> if you think about it, it really isn't my fault. I am not to Just a string of unfortunate coincidences. Events. Well, by that stand, you are no better than the that the foes you were fighting against. Uh. This has happened before. I probably shouldn't say that though. Never mind. <laughs> you don't say it. <laughs> He's just like really glaring at you. Uh, my time is running up here, and apart from impaling him and making sure he stays impaled. For now, I don't have any more ideas. If you summon me next time, maybe I will have something. I am not well versed in the arts of magic. But if if you manage to survive what is coming, and I will gladly, and he looks at Varian, if you manage to make the tower better, to make me be able to stay on this plane for a longer time, I will be willing, willing to help you and I guess other servants to to help you survive the <coughs> oncoming storm but this is warning for you and this sif the first chance I get I will inform the rest of high heavens and forces of good about your predicament so Well, I won't spoil what will happen if you decide to run to some other angel. But if you do not fix this yourself, you might want to stay out from good aligned planes. And then you see that from the bottom up, he starts, you know, that he, his body starts turning into like golden dust. Like from uh, as from right from from fate, and he's like starts slowly disappearing, and he mostly looks at Varion and Asmarius, not really focusing on you. Uh, before I go, I have one last piece of information for you, which will be important. The gates you will want wa white gate to open. But if you do not, if the guardian of the gate will be still alive, it won't open. You'll need to do something about it, even if it pains me to murder him. Of course, you don't need to, but it will help you. Well then, I bid you farewell and wish you good luck in case we do not meet once again. And then he disappears fully. So, Asmarius and like some other allies, are the remnants of the army, like like in the background, looking at you, mostly glaring at Endiv. So, what are you doing? All right. First of all, getting between the army and end it. Well, we were saving those guys. They wave over at the army. They do not wave back. 
Well, oh, just like a gesture, less than a wave. But yeah, and um, it seems like wherever these humble dragons came from, we we stopped that thing. We decimated oh, an orcish horde among other things. Maybe, maybe the they army. are like Soviet army, they have more. <laughs> that was not the only army they have. And we didn't die! So everything's good. Yeah, something like that.